Summary of the Poet X by Elizabeth Acevedo A 15-year-old girl named Siomara sits on the steps of her Harlem building in the week before school starts. Even the people who sell drugs are nicer to her as they catcall her. Before mom gets home from work, Siomara sneaks back upstairs. Siomara says that she gets a lot of attention on the street because she's tall and curvy, but mommy tells her that it's her job to stop men from catcalling her. That's what her name means, one who is ready for war, and she's certainly lived up to that. She calls her twin brother Twin. Twin was born first and had no problems, but Siomara's birth was hard, and she hasn't lived up to her parents' standards since. This year, Siomara and her best friend Carrie Dodd are in confirmation class together. It's not clear to Siomara if she wants to worship God because God doesn't seem to care about her. Mommy won't even think about letting Siomara put off confirmation. She says she'll send her to the Dominican Republic, where the nuns will beat her. People think that Siomara and Twin are wonders because their parents were very old when they were born. Even though Poppy doesn't drink, listen to music, or flirt as much since the twins were born, Siomara still feels like a burden. She wanted to be a nun when she was younger, but her parents made her marry Poppy so she could move to the US. Right from the start, confirmation class is awful, especially when Father Sean tells the kids they have to dedicate themselves on their own, which Siomara has never been able to do. Siomara tells her friend Kari Dodd in a whisper that she wants to kiss boys in class. Siomara starts 10th grade the next day. Twin goes to a fancy genius school, but Siomara goes to the school near her. This year, Siomara's English teacher is Ms. Galliano, who is known for being strict. The first time she says Siomara's name, Ms. Galliano gets it right. She then seems truly interested in hearing from her students about the most important day in their lives. Siomara writes about getting her period as a rough text. Siomara had no idea what her period was, so mommy hit her when she tried to use pads. Mama snarled that pads were only for queros, whores. Siomara's last draft is about Twin giving her a writing notebook for her birthday. Siomara does work every day after school. Mima doesn't make Twin help, but she still likes him better because he's religious and smart. When Siomara writes, she talks about how lonely she is and how the guys at school make her feel like she wants to run away. At the basketball park one weekend, a guy picks on Siomara and Twin for looking, and he especially picks on Twin for not being a man. Angela has to stand up to him. Every day, Siomara thinks about the things she wishes she had said and how she is teased no matter what she wears or does. Twin never stands up for her, which makes her mad. Siomara doesn't follow the rules that Sunday. She doesn't believe it's important to thank God for giving her life when she can't live. Siomara says no when mommy tries to force her to do something. Siomara goes to mass with mommy for the next week, but she throws up her communion wafer. Siomara sees a poster at school for Ms. Galliano's spoken word writing club. She really wants to go, but she also has confirmation class on Tuesday. In Siomara's biology class, labs start, and her partner is a handsome boy called Amon. She has a crush on him right away. Siomara also asks Ms. Galliano about the poetry club. When Ms. Galliano shows her a clip of a black female poet, Siomara learns what her word is. Even though it's moving, Siomara says she could never act. Aman and Siomara agree to listen to a record by Kendrick Lamar on a Friday afternoon. He doesn't let Siomara date, but she goes and sits next to him anyway. According to Siomara, she has chosen that she will only ever love Twin, even though he's awful, he doesn't have any Twin intuition, he's not cool, and he doesn't notice Siomara very often. But when he does, it's usually very deep. Twin says that Siomara looks different after her date. Siomara writes Amon poems in secret and talks about him in confirmation class with Caridad. Ms. Galliano gives Siomara's homework back with a note telling her she is poetic and that she should join the club. Siomara really wants to but isn't sure if she can. She still hangs out with Amon and reads him a poem when he asks. As the weeks go by, 
Siomara keeps her communion wafers hidden and hangs out with Amun. Father Sean talks about how Eve should have turned down the apple one day in confirmation class. Siomara doesn't believe this. Is the Bible a figure of speech? If not, she asks, then why are people interested if they can't use it? She knows she's in trouble, and Father Sean doesn't answer Siomara's questions after class. Instead, he tells her to talk to mommy. This is what Siomara does at night when she spends more time with Amun. She feels good about it, but she feels bad about it. Siomara sees that Twin is also texting someone and is laughing a lot. The fire alarm goes off at school one afternoon. Amun and Siomara kiss in the park. He asks her to come to a Halloween party, but she doesn't answer. Later, she feels like everyone in confirmation class can see that she's been kissing. When Father Sean calls Siomara to check on her, he tells her that his mother died. Siomara tells Twin about this later and asks who he's texting. Twin tells them that if Mommy and Poppy find out, they'll be in fine if they're caught. It wouldn't bother Siomara if Twin brought home a girl, but she's not sure what they'd do if he brought home a boy. The next day, Twin comes home with a black eye and won't say where he got it. On the Saturday before Halloween, Siomara doesn't go to the movies with Caridad and Twin. Instead, she sneaks out to the party with Amun. Siomara tells him to stop dancing before it gets too funky. Tuesday, Siomara goes to Twin's school after school to hit the person who punched him. Siomara sees Twin with a boy with red hair instead. Twin tells Siomara not to worry about it. Siomara knows she can't always watch out for Twin, but this is something she didn't expect. He tells her that the boy's name is Cody, and Siomara starts to think that maybe she made things worse by never speaking out in support of gay people. For Ms. Galliano's next task, students need to talk about someone who has been mistaken. In her rough writing, Siomara says that mommy used to be her hero but now treats her differently. She turns in an assignment about Nicki Minaj. Later, a boy from the poetry club named Chris reads a poem to Siomara's class, and Ms. Galliano tells everyone they can come to a poetry slam in February. Siomara would like to go. Amun asks Siomara to ice skate, which is something she used to do but hasn't done in a while. Amun can skate really well. He really wants to take lessons in winter sports, but his dad wouldn't let him. Siomara and Amun kiss on the train ride home. Siomara hears Mommy yelling when she gets home. Mommy saw her on the train. But Mommy pulls Siomara to her altar of the Virgin Mary and makes her kneel on rice. Twin tries to help her leave. Siomara tells Mommy that any girl can be a quero when she calls her that. She goes to school the next day and guys grab her in front of Amon. Since Amon doesn't protect her, Siomara makes threats against both Amon and the person who hurt her. Siomara asks to meet Father Sean to confess because Mommy told her to. Siomara tells him that she lied because she was lustful and didn't follow his orders, but she's not sorry. Father Sean tells her to ask God to forgive her but later he tells Mommy that Siomara shouldn't be confirmed yet so that she has time to answer her questions. Mommy tells Siomara in a hissing voice that she needs to be sure. Siomara avoids Amon and writes poems about how she wants to leave Mommy. When Twin tells her to write a nice poem for herself, she laughs and writes in her notebook. She also won't give Ms. Galliano a real answer to her next task. When Ms. Galliano wants to talk to Siomara, she tells her to go to writing club. She agrees because Siomara is no longer supposed to be at confirmation. When Siomara meets Isabel, Chris, and Stefan, she reads a song. The three of them and Ms. Galliano have made her feel heard and heard. She runs to church later to act like she was in class. Caridad talks mommy into letting Siomara, twin, and herself go to an open mic at the New Yorican Poets Cafe when she finds out where Siomara was. When Isabel sees Siomara eating lunch in the bathroom and asks her to eat in the art room, she feels hopeful. Siomara finds Twin crying after school. Cody broke up with him. Twin still agrees to go to the open mic, 
and Siomara finds out that Caridad booked her to perform. Even though Siomara is scared, she loves acting, and both she and Twin feel like they belong. Siomara knows that she can make other people feel the same way by acting. Siomara thinks of writing club as a prayer group for her. She writes, reads poems for Ms. Galliano, and helps her friends with theirs. During winter break, she writes a lot, and on Christmas Eve, her mom gives her a strange gift. The band is for Siomara's daughter. It says Mihija on one side and her name on the other. A week after school starts, Twin and Siomara trade birthday gifts, Twin gets a comic about a gay character and Siomara gets a new notebook. Siomara is feeling great until she realizes in Poem Club that she left her old notebook at home. Then Mommy leaves her a voicemail. Mama is holding her notebook when Siomara gets home. Why does what's in it make Mommy so angry and betrayed? She sets it on fire and starts to pray. As Poppy takes the notebook from Mommy, Siomara starts to scream her poems. Twin keeps Mommy in place while Siomara gets away. Aman is the first person Siomara calls. Siomara visits Aman at his home. He makes her feel better after she tells him what happened. They kiss and take off their clothes, but Siomara stops him before they have sex. She wants Aman to kick her out, but he dries her tears instead. This morning, Ms. Galliano takes Siomara into the hall and tells her that she knows something is wrong and called home last night because Papa didn't know where Siomara was. The girl Siomara tells Ms. Galliano everything and agrees to talk to Mommy. Aman, Caridad, and Twin help Siomara ask Father Sean for help after school so she can go home. Mama cries and gives Siomara a hug. Father Sean starts counseling with Siomara and Mommy. After a few weeks, he asks if they can all come to the poem slam. Siomara has a coach, Ms. Galliano, and she even trains at home. Before going to Siomara's house, all of her family and friends come to the slam. There, Poppy shows her how to dance, and he and Mommy promise her that things will never be the same. She has to write about her favorite Bible quote for her final project. In it, she compares poetry to church because words bring people together. About the author. Elizabeth Acevedo was born in New York. Acevedo did her first slam poetry event at the New Yorican Poets Cafe when she was 14. She went on to perform at many open mic events around the city. She later went to George Washington University and got a BA in performing arts. Then she went to the University of Maryland and got an MFA. Since she graduated, she has taught 8th grade English and poetry to kids in a number of different places. The Poet X is her first book, and she got some ideas for it from hanging out with teenage girls who didn't see themselves in great books or books that are usually taught in schools. Many awards have been given to all of her written works, and she is also known for her spoken word poetry. She and her partner live in Washington, D.C. Hope we summarized it fully and you liked it. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so that we are motivated to create more videos.